This weekend, we're making a coffee table. Start by cutting the wood boards down to size. Use a jointer to flatten out the sides of the wood boards for the tabletop, and check the table planks to make sure they're flush. Lay the table planks next to each other and mark out the cuts for the biscuit cutter. Following the reference lines, cut into the planks with the biscuit cutter. Spread glue over all sides of the planks and drop a biscuit into the slots. Use pole clamps to squeeze the planks together. Once the glue is dried, use a scrapper to remove the dried glue, followed by a hand plane to remove any proud edges, and finish with a jack plane. Mark out the cuts for the rabbit joints and the leg pieces, and use a bandsaw to cut out the joints. Check if the joints fit, and use a chisel to correct any unequal levels. Lay out the legs and mark the lines for the dado joints. Measure your router for a half-inch cut. Using a router and template, cut out the dados. Check the fit of the dados, and if something is off by a stupid millimeter, use sandpaper to smooth and adjust the fit. Glue and clamp all the leg joints. Using a template, mark out the shape of the curve in the wood. Take out your handy bandsaw again and cut out several chunks close to the pencil marks. They don't have to be exact, just close enough to remove most of the wood. Yeah, that looks pretty good. See that old beat up disc sander? Use it to smooth out the outer curve in your wood leg. For the inner curves that can't be reached with a bandsaw, you'll have to use a handsaw to make a line of vertical cuts, and then one horizontal cut to remove the piece. Again, it doesn't have to be exact, just remove enough material and the router will do the rest. Get out your template that you made and line it up with the pencil markings on the wood joints you made earlier. Clamp the template to the table so it doesn't wobble around, and using a top-bearing flush trim bit, slowly follow the shape of the template. Once you've made the first router cuts, swap out the bit with a bottom-bearing trim bit. Flip the legs over, and follow along the edge of the freshly cut corners to remove the excess wood. Now grab your orbital sander and go to work on all surfaces of your legs. Some of the joints will be a bit proud, which you can fix with a block plane. With some 100 grit sandpaper and a large wooden dowel, smooth out any rough surfaces in the leg curves. Once you've taken out the rough spots, go back again with 150 grit and smooth out the marks left behind by the sandpaper. Mark out where the legs will connect with the tabletop and draw on some holes. Then, with a special dowel drill bit, drill in the hole first to the tabs and then the legs. Glue up the legs and dowels to the tabletop and apply pressure. You can now sand all the edges, and if you run into any uneven joints where the legs hit the tabletop, smooth them out with a block plane. Finish the table with two coats of stain and two coats of polyurethane with 220 grit and 400 grit paper to finish. There you have it, a coffee table made from scratch. Now sit back, open a beer, and don't ruin it by not using a coaster. What projects do you want us to do in future videos? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Pre-drill a hole at each point and insert a screw into each of these holes. Line them up with the anchors and drill the screws in. Repeat this process for as many shelves as you want.